Hi! This exercise is awesome for your right hand technique and it is an exercise that is very common in classical music guitar education. So we are gonna go through some basic combinations and variations of the right hand's fingers. Maybe you have seen this exercise already with pressing the strings. To take this exercise to another level of after pressing the strings and getting the fingers to work into the guitar and adding different kind of combinations of fingers. This exercise will take up these kind of uh, stuff. So what we want to do is that you always want to start with the thumb on top. So the strings are six, three, two, one. What we want to do here is to first of all count to you can it can be seen as a t the time with the three four and you're gonna count to five and have a short rest so one two three four five rest 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 and as we have four fingers and in this we're gonna do six variations so and as we have the combination of five plucks and a rest we will start each finger will have an opportunity to start look here we're gonna start with the thumb one two three four five pause one two three four five pause So what I'm doing here is that after I plucked each string, when I pluck with my thumb, I prepare next finger. One, two, three, four, five. When the finger hit the string, you will also press it a little bit in also. So you get the fingers to get used to this motion of working into the guitar. So one, two, three, four, five, pause. And on the pause, when you pause here, you can also, you have a microsecond there to sort of, yeah, I have contact with the string. I'm pressing a bit in and up. It goes quite quickly. You don't have so much time, but you, when, you, when you start to do this exercise and work it through slow, you will feel this. One, two, three, four, Five. Little press. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'll press with the middle finger. Yeah, I can have, I have contact with it. You can also, in the beginning, you can also take a longer break. Just to, yeah, I feel I have contact with the string. In and up a bit. Just a tiny bit in and up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Then you are in the ring finger. Yeah. I feel I have a contact with it and it's in and a bit up. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm back on my thumb again. P-I-M-A are the fingers called in general. You can call them whatever you want, but it's pulgar, index, uh, min, middle finger and anular, ring finger. Uh, so we have six combinations of these as we have these three fingers that uh, the thumb is always starting off. So I have one on this one. Now I have two, three, four. And now I have two, three, four. The third combination is two, three, four, fourth. Fourth combination is two, three, four. Fifth, two, three, four. Two, three, four is the sixth one. Then I'll cover all the combinations of these that are possible. I'm doing it Doing this exercise with these combinations will look like this. One, two, three, four, five. Fourth. 
ਦੇ When you have work on all these kinds of combinations, starting with the first one, feel okay, I've kind of got a hang on that one, then you can add the next one, and so forth. When you feel that, okay, I can play this exercise the whole way through, like one, two, three times in a row, it's kind of, yeah, I feel I got a hang on it now, that's great. So again, what is supportive for tone building is to have the fingers to work into the guitar. What you can do also before doing this exercise is to just do this press exercise. Press a few times on each fingers to work into the guitar. To learn the fingers to work into the guitar. I would probably say this many times, you will hear it repeatedly. And that is on purpose. Another point that I wanted to mention also is that when you're sitting and practice with your guitar, Make sure also that your body is also relaxing. Relaxing in the core, in the back, and also especially in the jaw and eyes. Those can usually be tense when something is difficult. There's this tendency of maybe not that much, but you get the point. So you just sit in a relaxed way and simply do it. You should feel great. And also remember to breathe. I hope this exercise will be helpful for you in the development of your right hand technique and finger style playing. And please let us know how it is going and I wish you all the good luck.